This episode is called Sacrifice, and I don't know how I feel about that. Welcome back to the channel, where we are continuing our journey through Battlestar Galactica. We have been in what seems to be a series of standalone episodes, and I know at some point that's going to shift as we round the corner here into the final episodes of the season. I don't know if that'll be this episode or not. Either way, Battlestar Galactica is a show that has had a lot of sacrifice uh, throughout its run so far, and I'm, I'm hoping the title of this episode is not an indication that we're going to sacrifice a character. Hopefully it's just a comment about the fact that that battle requires sacrifice of us. Uh... Who's going to have to sacrifice what? That really is, is what I, I'm I'm worried about. And tell me it's not a life that we're... we're, we're... Sorry, I, I can't even really formulate my thoughts because I'm, I'm just genuinely nervous. So let's not even try. Let's experience the episode right now for the very first time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're trying to get to the CIC. Cute. Uh, I was... I, I was going to mention like six hours ago and I was thinking about the intro that I didn't think about before I actually did the intro, what character we might focus on this week. And I was kind of hoping that while it, it might be odd for Billy and Dee to have like a whole episode focusing on them, I was hoping to get an episode or get some focus on them. I was kind of thinking maybe we'd focus on the Roslyn camp and get a little bit of Billy. We'll see. Agent within the fleet. Who's typing? Do we know this person? I feel like no. Wow. So someone with a deep-rooted hatred, I'm sure, of Cylons because she lost her husband? Speculation continues that Galactica is harboring a Cylon agent. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. If I fell for one second, that she posed some kind of a threat to this fleet. Right. Pull the trigger on her myself. I think the fleet may need to hear that. Billy overstepping a little bit, but yeah. Someone took their vitamin this morning. Yeah, I don't know what got into me. <laughs> there is no roadmap for any of this. We barely know anything about the Cylons, and until we learn more, we're not going to destroy the only source of information that we have. I know, it's just my debate team ring, but it's the best I could do. What? Oh no. Oh. Let her answer before you put the ring on her finger, bro. I've loved you since, since the first day I met you. I, I mean, you were half naked. <laughs> Granted. Billy, I can't marry you. I'm sad. He pulled out that ring, and it was like an electric shock. I don't know what to make of you and me, either. You and me? Hang on, the last conversation you had, I thought it was pretty clear there wasn't a you and me. Oh, no, Ellen's here, too. Oh. Oh, oh no, Ellen's interacting Excuse with me. the mystery girl at the beginning. What is happening? Is this some kind of, like, covert operation? Uh-oh. It doesn't look good. Hopefully they're not planning an assassination. Uh-oh. 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 Captain Adama. I really am an idiot, aren't I? Ellen, well, you're a regular. You ever see that woman before in the corner? I thought he was eyeing her. Like him, I don't know what's happening, but I do think it needs to be stopped, and I'm glad he's on the, the case. Are you serious? Uh, no, Ellen, no. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they're here to assassinate her. I don't know. And would that be the worst thing? I guess. I guess. She doesn't deserve to be assassinated, probably. I mean, there's still the chance she's a Cylon, I think. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Everybody by the bar! Oh, come on. What's your objective? I know it's not a robbery. Is it true? The fleet knows I'm on Galactica. I'm interested in navigational weaknesses. <laughs> He's all business. Love that. They adapt to your every move. Every move triggers a counter move. The fleet knows. If people knew how much you've relied on that thing, so-called intelligence, they'd be scared out of their wits. What about you, Saul? Are you afraid of her? A little, I am. I don't know what to think. Give me your drink. Uh, Let me talk to them. The ice, I need the dry ice. Please don't shoot. What is she doing? My husband's exiled Galactica. They're holding us hostage. They're threatening to kill us. My name is Sesha. Abigail. We want Sharon the Larry. What do they want to do with her? Because if they just want to kill her, I don't want her to be killed, but okay. As long as they're not trying to create another Pegasus situation. 
Who do we have aboard Cloud Nine? Starbucks already there on R and R. Give me Starbucks right away. I love that Starbucks already there. Honestly, if Starbucks and Apollo are both there, we're in pretty good shape. Ah, uh, okay. He's triggering something. And this guy's like so nervous to open up this final door. Ah, oh, yes. We got an unknown number of shooters, at least 20 hostages. Meanwhile, Apollo's on the inside. Put your weapon down. This is Captain Adama from the Galactica. Sash. They're together. Put it down. She dies. She dies, he dies, you get it? Difference I, is he won't do it. Yeah, I don't think she cares about him like you care about D, even if it's weird and undefined. Yeah, she had you, man. He's not gonna choose the Cylon over his son. She's right. But his plan is still in motion. CO2 is through the roof. Probably nicked a line. Why don't you let me talk to the Admiral? We're losing oxygen. It's <laughs> not restored the hostages die. Are you willing to risk your son's life? Give her what she wants! Give her the Cylon! I'm not going to sacrifice a military asset on your altar of revenge. You are infiltrated. You, the She's military. She's putting in a performance. The rest of us do not want to go down with your ship. So we can't give her a share, and I hope you know that, right? If I can't start dealing with terrorists, we start now and it'll open the floodgates and it'll it's never true. stop. It's not Sharon. It's a fracking Cylon. You don't think I know that? Bill, it's a machine. It's like I know Colonel Ty is speaking truth bombs, and I feel like, yeah, we should all be in agreement with him. But it's Sharon. <laughs> I'm here to repair the O2 line. <laughs> Captain. Great. Starbuck being on the inside is a great idea. Looks clean. Ah! Woo. Oh, Starbuck. Shoot. Well, this didn't go well. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Oh, okay. I just expected those doors to close faster when she hit that button. <laughs> Billy, I need shirts, towels, anything I can use as a bandage. Nobody said you could move. Uh, D did. If the Admiral's son dies, you're not going to get a deal. You get that? That's right. Not to steal from Rosalind's lines, but he took some super strong vitamins this morning. Man ate his Wheaties. We got a report of gunshots. What's happening? Any casualties? Me? It was friendly fire. I think it was me. At least she's not trying to cover it up. I can't tell if it hit an artery. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Extra gun. Billy, though, don't get any crazy ideas. Or maybe do, but you're not military trained, but maybe that's okay. I don't know. What you doing? Is he thinking about it? Are you playing with me? You know that there are Cylons within this fleet. If I were to ask you, would you tell me who they are? No. I was wondering what she was going to say. That was an honest answer. Also, I was staring at this like shiny piece of glitter on her lip. So that was that was there too. Sent over a manifesto to the press before they took over the bar. Cylons and the military and the government. Bunch of crap. There are no options left except for one. We don't strike deals with terrorists. We can't. Billy is the closest thing that I have to family left in this world. And if you don't think that that confuses things emotionally for me. What if they're right? That's not the point at this moment. They could very well be right, but that doesn't give them permission to use acts of violence to get their way. Oh, everyone, it's just a machine. Oh, Sasha, I was hoping I'd be able to root for you when I first met you. I'm giving you the Cylon, but you won't be alive. You've convinced me that we may have been played. You can have her, but on my terms. Hmm. Okay. They didn't. She's not dead. No, you think you can get that gun? You thinking in case something happens? No, you're not a soldier. One thing I'm sure they wouldn't kill Sharon and her baby off screen. Facts. 
I wonder if that's Boomer's body rather than Sharon. Yeah. So good. That was a good move. Shoot, he figured it out. <laughs> this one's been dead for weeks. But it bought them enough time. Kill the girlfriend. Was it enough time? Oh, go Billy Boy. If anyone dies this episode, it will be Billy. And I don't want that. Holy crap. Lee! I know Lee's gonna be fine. I'm I'm I'm, I'm like I'm I'm calm, I'm confident of that. I am. <laughs> I'm not so confident here. Com Billy. Billy. <laughs> What's a calculated risk? It wasn't worth it. Rosalind. I love how she just flat out said it wasn't worth it. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I love that she's You're so young. That's so real. <gasps> Fixing his hair that he's so young. Oh, Roz. <sighs> You have to stay. You understand? It's hard not to kind of feel like it, like it should be her there. Not just because of the romantic tension, but because like they're actually friends. And I'm not saying they're not friends. I'm just saying we didn't see their relationship develop. It just was there one day. And I'm just kind of pissed that she's not with President Rosalind by Billy's side. What happened there? Why did we show Sharon at the end? Did I miss something? What was the purpose of showing Sharon at the end lying there? This was an okay episode with some pretty big developments. I did think it was really interesting, kind of as the hostage situation started to unfold with Ellen and Apollo being there. Of course, Ellen thought Apollo was going to take her to the bathroom and hook up because she's an awful person. But Apollo's on the case. I like that he sniffed it out kind of right away. And I do find it really interesting, the whole terrorist plot line with wanting to get Sharon and have her be killed. Honestly, when it comes to just like the Cylon element, I go back and forth. When watching episodes from episode to episode, even in between episodes, on one hand, Sharon is an enemy agent and she's likely there for nefarious purposes. I just don't know what they are. And then again, though, maybe, maybe not. I, I have such a like desire. I, like I want to believe in her. I want to believe she really has our best interest in heart. But like, does she? She probably doesn't. Am I being naive by thinking that? Maybe, probably, I don't know. So that element, that component of the episode was really, really good, was really, really great. And I really appreciated that. Again, you might have the burden of future knowledge, so please no spoilers. But, you know, what? what is your thought process at this point in the series on Sharon? Are we being completely naive by wanting to trust her? Is Commander Adama in the wrong by keeping her around? Or is maybe Rosalind kind of wanting to deal with this? Is she maybe in the right? I don't know. I don't know. And I love that I don't know. I don't feel the need. I don't feel like I have to know. I, I think... I don't think there's a clear cut answer and the benefit of hindsight will inform that decision and I'll know. But in the meantime, I'm pretty happy to live in the in the tension of the not knowing that I think is part of a big part of the fun of the show. In that regard, I really liked the episode. The bad taste in my mouth mostly comes from the Duala Apollo storyline. Just because even when it was first introduced, it was just kind of like, oh, they're fighting and there's some heat there and some tension. And it's been, you know, a couple episodes. It's not like this is the first time we've seen it, but it always just kind of felt like something that was happening rather than something that developed naturally in the story. I was kind of like waiting to see where it go, where it was going to go before I formed an opinion on it one way or another. Just kind of let it let it develop. And it seemed to me like it was shut down. Last time they talked, she 
again, in a what seemed like an out of nowhere move to me, she had confronted Lee, hey, what's going on between us? What is this? And he didn't have anything to say. And she was like, okay, got it, and walked away. And I kind of thought, okay, this was a weird side plot, but it seemed like it was over. And then here in this episode, they're on a date. And I just feel baffled by it. Obviously, Starbuck also and him had a moment in a recent episode. And uh, he kind of shut that down when Starbuck got too aggressive. Uh, and so there's some tension between Starbuck and Apollo. And I would have been much more interested in seeing that storyline continue to develop. Instead, uh, we had her sitting where, in my opinion, Starbuck should have been. Um, or for that that meta where, where Admiral Adama should have been. But of, of course, I'm confident Admiral Adama did have that moment where he would visit his son and all that stuff. It's just not the, the part that they showed us and whatnot. But actually losing Billy, it's just so weird to me that losing Billy feels like such an important and significant consequence for Rosalind, but not Duala. And of course it is for Duala. Again, we just we saw it was just focused on another part of her of her story. Uh, I just the thing felt weird. It didn't hit for me. I'm devastated for President Rosalind. And yes, yeah, she said I probably that's probably the fact that she said he's the closest in the family I have on this ship should have been my sign that he might be in danger. Uh, I it just I didn't think I. I mean, he's gone. That's devastating. I, I, he, when I, I'm sorry, when I play the next episode, Billy's not going to be there. Who's, who's going to help her? Who's going to be her aid? Who's going to fill that void in that role? I'm sad. In conclusion, there was two big dynamics in this episode. One part, I actually, the more I've talked about, I've really grown to love. Another part, the more I've talked about, I've really grown to dislike. And that really averages out to this being an okay episode with some major plot developments. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this continues to go next week. And I will see you there. If you did enjoy this, make sure you check out the next episode and by all means, give this video a like, subscribe, share this video. All those things really help and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.